Welcome to another Blue Edge Crafts video. Today, let's look at the envelope punch board. Well, this is the envelope punch board. It's very straightforward. And right on top here, there's your punch. Now on the front of the board, you see all these numbers. Now the first column in each one of these is the size of card you've made and that you need an envelope to fit it. The next one is the size of the material, card or paper that you're going to make the envelope from. And the next one is where the score line will be. Now along the top here, you can see in inches um, and also below in millimeters, a measurement. And that's where you align the paper up to for that score line. Now, if you're going to work in metric, you get this handy sticker that you can just peel off and stick on the front of the board and you've now got a complete metric uh, envelope punch board. With the instructions right on the front of the board, you're never going to forget how to use it. Now, in the side of the board, you'll find this really useful scoring tool that you'll use down this little groove here on the board. And it's also handy for when you've finished your envelopes for folding over the sides. Now let's take a piece of basil card and we'll put that in to the punch board and align it there to nine and a half centimeters, which is what the, uh, the figure tells us on the table. And then we'll straight away punch that and take our scoring tool and score a line down here. Now once you've done that, just rotate it 90 degrees. Now you don't have to line it up with any, any figures anymore. You're just going to line the crease you've made with this little pointer here. And then just carry on and uh, do a score and do a punch. Now we won't make you watch it all. Let's speed the process up a little bit. Well, there we have it, all cut out, got our shape, but look at this nasty pointy edge. We want to round that off to make it look like a real envelope. So turn the board around, pop the edge in, and just punch and round those corners as well. Now we've got the finished thing, we can just start folding each piece over and use our tool to score along there to really hold that down. Once you've got it all folded over, of course you can use some glue or glue stick or something to hold that bottom section down and either use double sided tape on the flap or we even do an envelope glue that dries and you can lick it and stick it down later. Now there isn't a reason not to have an envelope that matches your card because you can use the same paper and cardstock or in this case vellum it really makes a nice translucent looking envelope here we use the sheet of acetate works exactly the same or well, why not even make those tiny gift card envelopes that cost so much money these days Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and see all our new videos.